Hello guys and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I have my BMW 1 Series behind me, my BMW 130i. And in this video, I want to talk about the best mods for the BMW 1 Series. So let's get cracking. So then, for starters, in my opinion, the best modification you can do to a BMW 1 Series is install the M Sport kit. So as standard, this is an M Sport model car but if you have an se model car then what you can do is install the m sport front bumper the m sport rear bumper and m sport side skirts to make the complete m sport body kit in my opinion the m sport body kit just makes the whole car look a whole lot more modern and aggressive and especially if you have a decent engine in one of these this is in particular the three liter petrol engine you do want something that looks quite sporty and aggressive to go with that now this car is 15 years old now but i think with the m sport body kit i think it still looks great even today the next modification is actually going to be on the interior of the car so we'll head inside now and take a look and that is actually the steering wheel now as you guys know I installed this about a month or two ago now it is actually just a standard M Sport steering wheel so it is slightly thicker I believe than the SE version and it looks a whole lot better anyway but this does actually have some additional M Sport style stitching on and I think it just makes the whole car look a whole, mo whole lot more modern and sporty and having a nice new fresh wheel completely transforms the feel of the interior of your BMW so in my opinion to have a new fresh modified steering wheel is just a modification that you really cannot pass on in my opinion and if i was to go a step further along with the steering wheel i would actually get a new or different gear knob as you see this is the original m sport gear knob it is quite worn now so i will probably look at changing that at some point because the main contact points when you're in the car is the steering wheel and is with the gear knob if you have a manual of course so you want them to feel nice you want them to be grippy in your hands and you don't want them to put off your experience of driving the car the next modification then is actually in the engine bay so what i'll do is i'll pop the bonnet and then we'll go and take a look now then this is actually the air intake now in here we have a knn filter along with a mishimoto intake boot now this intake boot here from mishimoto it de-restricts the original factory intake pipe and allows for better airflow couple that with the knn filter now this is actually a cone style filter it's a cone style from factory so couple them both together you are going to gain a few horsepower now is it going to be a massive difference probably not no but then if you combine that with a few other modifications you may end up gaining a decent amount now probably the biggest benefit if you do find a benefit is the increased sound that a freer flowing intake actually makes now what i'll do is i'll insert a clip of what this sounds like right now Now bear in mind this is a petrol engine if you do have a diesel engine i would not change your air intake too much due to the fact that you're not really going to gain anything at most i'd probably go ahead and drop a knn panel filter in and that is essentially just going to last forever and means that you're not going to have to replace your you know standard air filter every year or so and you know if you gain a couple of horsepower then all is good but doing something as simple as a performance air filter or a de-restricted intake boot is something that anyone can really do you don't really need any mechanical knowledge to do these kinds of jobs and so in my opinion this is the perfect beginner modification if you are just starting out with your car and now we're going to move around to the rear of the car to the exhaust now the next modification that i would recommend is getting a decent exhaust system now with this being the 130i model it already has a decent exhaust which i will insert a clip of now now when it 
comes to modifying your exhaust, you may want to do something like a bat box or muffler delete, or you may want to go as far as fitting a decat downpipe. Now, if you have a diesel, probably the best modification to your exhaust would be to just gut the DPF because with a diesel, there's not too much point in removing your bat box or doing a muffler delete because you're really not going to gain anything at all. Another modification that I would recommend, and again, this is something that any beginner can do really, and that would be to swap out your original chrome grills for some nice, shiny gloss black ones in my opinion they just look so much more aggressive and modern and yeah like i said this is really something that any diyer can do from home now another modification that is worth doing and this is again if you have a manual and it is the cdv delete or the clutch delay valve delete now i have a whole video doing this on my channel it is a modification that is completely free to do and again it is a very very easy modification to do it's something that you know pretty much anyone can do as long as you can get your car up in the air and you can locate your gearbox it's very very easy to do the clutch delay valve delete and if you don't know what a clutch delay valve does it essentially just restricts the clutch fluid or the brake fluid they both share the same fluid on these cars it essentially just restricts the fluid going to the slave cylinder so it means that the clutch engages a little bit slower so removing that valve the clutch delay valve if you remove it it means that you can shift quicker and smoother essentially and so it's definitely worth doing this if you enjoy your spirited drives and you want to get the most out of your gearbox and you want to be able to shift as fast as possible the next modification then is with the headlights now these are actually factory xenon headlights so as standard they come with the angel eye bulbs but if yours comes with the standard halogen bulbs then upgrading to some xenons or upgrading to some angel eyes in particular can really improve the front end of your car and for the next modification we are back on the interior of the car and this modification is in fact cruise control now i know that this is a factory option from new the bmw 1 series being a entry level car a lot of models do not come with cruise control as standard you know on the 3 and the 5 series they did come with them in many cases as standard so in my opinion with the addition of cruise control it just completely transformed this car especially on the highway you know when you need to stick to a specific speed limit whether that's 60 65 70 miles per hour it makes it a whole lot easier to do so with the use of the cruise control and it's actually not too difficult to install as well I actually have a full video installing these cruise control stock with the updated SL module and so if you are stuck on things what to do on the interior of your car if you do not have cruise control i would 100 percent recommend retrofitting it now then the final modification that i would recommend is actually just the upgrading of your braking system so as you can see i just have the standard sized brake disc but in my opinion them being drilled just looks a whole lot more better you know it's a lot more aggressive a lot more sporty and we have some decent pads on there as well and i've actually went ahead and installed some braided brake hoses as well some steel braided brake hoses which obviously perform a lot better than these standard rubber ones now we have done this of course all round, and in my opinion it makes the car perform a lot better it puts a lot more confidence in the braking and this is something that you should really not skimp on in my opinion and with that then that is pretty much all of the modifications that i recommend for the bmw 1 series as you can see my car is fairly stock looking you know i haven't veered too far away from the oem look and in my opinion that's the best way to go i really don't think you have to do a whole lot to these cars to make them look good to make them look aggressive i really think it's better to go with the nice little subtle mods rather than doing something a bit over the top that can 
actually in fact ruin the look of the car so i think from standard m sport models these look pretty damn nice and of course if there is anything that you want to add you know your nice own little touches then please feel free to do so but please don't do a modification to your car that you cannot reverse and you may later on and down the line end up regretting with any modification you always want to be able to revert back to the original so that is always worth bearing in mind okay then so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video this has been my favorite modifications for the bmw 1 series now i do have a lot more planned and installed for this car so do stay tuned i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please remember to give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i will see you all in that next one peace